Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy, Kaiga1324 here. I don't know why I said that. And up here today, I have a guest. Yeah. Say hello to Everest. Uh, oh, I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, my, my partner brought me this uh, Everest from work. She knows that I'm an Everest guy. Uh, yes, Paw Patrol is on a lot in my house. And I've, uh, you know, I, I watch it quite a bit. Well, I don't sit there and watch it, watch it. But I've seen, you know, a majority of the episodes because somebody liked it. And I don't know, I like Everest, Husky. Uh, but up here today with a video suggestion... I forgot your name. If I remember, I'll leave an annotation or a comment to your channel below. If, you, if you're if you a creator, then fair enough. If not, then it's a person. I'll leave a link because uh, this is a idea from you. And uh, I think you're, um, you're right. This is, and we are doing a movie sort of review impression. And I want to do more movie reviews because I know a lot of people on my channel do like uh, the movie side of things that I have, and you know, I have a, a ton of movies, and uh, of course, I've already talked about the Tales of Terror uh, box set, which you know, I, I is one of my favorite things that I own, and I can't talk enough about this. But, um, they mentioned that you know, because there's so many movies on here, you know, uh, reviewing, you know, doing reviews, uh, I've got quite a bit of material to work with here, and uh, like I said, I've watched about four. Uh, maybe like I'm on like the fifth disc now. So I've watched about say about between 15 to 20 of the movies that are on here. So maybe like, you know, that's like 10%, I guess. Yeah, 10% of the movies that are on here. And, you know, there's some hit and miss ones. And the thing is, I don't remember a lot of the ones that I watched because I watched them, ye you know, years ago when I first got this. And uh, But I did watch one uh, a, a couple of weeks ago. I think last week, actually, it might have been. And the movie was called Frankenstein 80. And um, I want to know in the comments below if you want more of these uh, movie reviews. It could be anything. I've, I watched Solo last night, so I, um, I was tempted to do that instead of this video but i thought i'd uh, do a fan requested video for one of you guys so uh hopefully you appreciate this and hopefully uh, the rest of you do too and um so the movie was frankenstein 80 now um the movie i think was made in the 70s um i can get the booklet up here it's which is, tells me when it was made and it was uh made in uh, 1972, so, um, of course, uh, starring John Rickles, uh, Richardson, Gordon Mitchell, and uh, Renato Romero. I don't know any of those actors. Um, but uh, basically, uh, you know, we all know who Frankenstein is, of course. You know, crazy doctor who created a monster. Yes, Frankenstein is the doctor, not the monster. <laughs> uh, the monster is just simply known as the monster. And, of course... Um, uh, I don't think I don't I don't know if this is true. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Frankenstein is a public domain thing, which means anyone can take uh, the story of Frankenstein and you know create it how they want into a movie or something. You know the original Mary Fre uh, Mary Shelley Frankenstein uh, novel. I do actually own that novel somewhere. I haven't read it yet though. Um, was the original, and then obviously the one that really popularised uh, Frankenstein was the Boris Karloff um, uh, Frankenstein, also known as the Universal movies uh, in the 30s and 40s. Um, I think it was the 30s, and maybe the 20s, but it's, I'm sure it's the 30s. Uh, yeah, a long time ago, guys, but um, I, I like me some old movies, and I do own the uh, Frankenstein uh, Universal box set upstairs, which I think has all of the, uh, I think it's got seven on there all of the universal frankenstein movies and i've got to watch them so i will watch them at some point um but i watched frankenstein 80 now uh now this frankenstein movie sort of takes place in a more modernized environment a more you know normal environment in terms of you know the original frankenstein sort of was set in like the victorian era you know the early you know the early mankind not mankind days I'm, I'm sure it was in the victorian era um and obviously you can see that in the movies and stuff like that with the castle and the electricity and the bolt you know the laboratory whereas this movie it takes place in 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 a more modernized environment and the movie starts off sorry if there's spoilers there will be some spoilers um i won't go into too much detail about this uh, the movie but i'm going to talk about what i gra um, gathered from it 
Um, the original, now the movie sort of starts off with this guy's um, wife, basically, or si I think it was his sister. Like I said, I don't remember too much of it. I remember the movie, but I don't remember the intricate details and all the characters' names and stuff like that. And basically, um, he his wife's got up. Well, sister's got to have an organ transplant, and obviously, uh, the whole theme in this one was the organ transplant. So I don't know if this is a real thing. I think it is, but when you have uh, in the movie, they say when you have an organ transplant, there's a chance that your body will reject it and end up killing you, which I think is a real thing. I'm sure it is, which is where this whole modernization comes from the movie because the movie is based around the hospital. And basically, uh, there's a, a, a another doctor who's created a, 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 like a, a serum which will prevent um, that that from happening. And then basically, that serum gets stolen from none other than Doctor Frankenstein. And in this movie, he's more civil. He's a much more um, civil human being. He's a, he's an ex doctor who worked in the hospital, and basically, he's got this um, you know person who's basically he's took the serum because he's trying to create a, a, a body out of you know organs from other dead people you know and creates and bring that to life reanimate it so similar to how the the movie um the story of frankenstein goes you know creating a monster from you know reanimating it from other people's bodies and this but the focus in this one was it, it was all focused on uh, the actual scientific and medical side of things and he stole the serum which then he's created this Frankenstein monster and the monster I will say doesn't look very scary at all it's just this horrible ugly looking guy you know bald sort of broad hairy chest all that sort of thing so it's it's definitely a, a different look for Frankenstein instead of the the sort of green zombie like Frankenstein that we know but in this movie he, he is still like got that maintain thing of the Frankenstein where he goes around killing people and obviously Dr. Frankenstein doesn't want him to go around killing people. And um, there was a really awkward scene in the movie because this movie, again, has a lot of sexual parts in it as well. And uh, there's a part in the movie where Frankenstein, the monster, sorry, actually rapes a prostitute. And it's so weird because the prostitute basically invites him, the monster, into her house tells him to go take his clothes off and obviously she's mortified because there's this guy that this guy that's you know stitched up and all this thing and i've got to say the the special effects on this on, on the uh monster even though they don't look like a monster it looks like a really fucked up guy um they were still pretty good i thought they were pretty decent to be honest nothing to buy today's standards but there were some parts in there especially where dr frankenstein is cutting out the organs that did make me hurl not hurl a little bit but at least go a bit or Oh, that's a bit, you know, I, I don't know what it is with medical science. I'm not overly keen on that myself. Um, and basically, you know, the story goes and then obviously, you know, Frankenstein turn, the monster turns on Frankenstein. And it's all about, a, 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 and the main sort of, um, there's that side of the story. But on the other side, we've got this um, journalist whose sister, whose the sister died, who's basically going around trying to figure out, work with the police to try and figure out who this um, guy going on a murderous rampage is, because no one can figure it out, because the clues are really hard, because obviously there's a part in the movie where they're like, well, the weapon uh, had two separate fingerprints on it from two different people um and obviously what that was is because obviously the the monster has been stitched together with different body parts so obviously he's got two different fingers from two different people and i, I like that sort of thing it's, it's got a sort of detective um side to the movie as well as the monster going around killing people and you know for the most part it's just him strangling them and and, and and the scenes aren't overly great. The story, I think the story, you know, it follows the Frankenstein story quite well, uh, I think. And, and it, it, does, it does it in a more modernised environment rather than, you know, being back in, in the past. It's sort of set in the, the, you know, I guess it would have been the, uh, in 1972, I guess it would have been set in, I think it is set in like the 60s, 70s anyway, so it would have been set in the present time if this was obviously back in 1972 when it came out um i thought the movie was pretty decent i don't think it's the best frankenstein movie i wouldn't even put it up there in the top five or top ten 
But I don't think it's the worst. I think there's some worse ones out there. I've yet to watch a lot of Frankenstein movies, so I can't really tell you which ones are good and which ones are bad. But I thought it was a decent movie. Um, if I was to give it uh, out of 10, I'd maybe give it like a, you know, maybe a 5.5. You're not the best movie because obviously... Um, but I think they, they try to uh, try something with it. Uh, there's a lot of naked women in it as well. So I guess, you know, there's that if you want. Um, but I thought it was a decent movie. I thought it was something uh, in a more, a different style of Frankenstein movie. Uh, definitely one that goes under the radar. Uh, there are, there is some problems with it. There's a lot of parts where it's really dark and you can't really see what's going on. Uh, particularly on this this version uh there's no subtitles either but that's just the box set in general unfortunately so um i thought it was a decent movie uh i don't think it's a great movie by any means it's quite bad but the but the special effects were pretty decent. Well, not special. Well, I wouldn't really call them special effects. The makeup uh, um, effects and the, the gore is quite quite um, well detailed. And uh, the the Frankenstein monster, it, I like. I like the design. The, the sort of style that he, they went with. They went with this horrible looking guy that. You know, it could just be a, a drunk man or a guy that's had a really bad day. But, you know, there's this guy that's made up from different body parts. And I like the fact that they reanimated him with this sort of medical um, serum instead of, you know, the electricity, you know, doing something new. And uh, overall, pretty good movie. It's definitely, a, you know, on this box set. So you can watch it on here. There's other, there's probably other ways you can watch it. I don't know if you can get the actual... Um, an individual DVD or VHS of it. There probably is out there uh, one version of it, but it's on this box set. So Tales of Terror, guys. If you guys enjoyed this sort of short review, let me know. And of course, let me know if you enjoy the guest of Everest. Um, I don't know why I put it on my shoulder. Because why not, you know? Everest for life. Of course, guys, there'll be a live stream tonight at... Half eight, and we're going to be going on some Overwatch again tonight. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. I should have a bit of fun with that again. Always enjoy playing some Overwatch. Um, I'm going to end the video now. And, of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. You've got two videos today, guys. You've got a gameplay and a movie review. Well, and a sort of face-to-face -face video. And, of course, guys, you get in that live stream tonight. And of course, guys, comment below. Let me know if you watch Frankenstein AE. If you have watched it, let me know your um, things. I will, I will, if, if I remember your name, if I remember to, I'll put a leave a, um, a, fa a thank you for the suggestion. I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Actually, I can quickly look it up now, actually, since I've got my tablet here. So just bear with me one minute. So um, the name of the, the person who subscribed this is Colour and Books. So, Colour and Books, thank you so much for the video suggestion. Um, I'm going to try and do more of this, um, where if you guys suggest videos, I'll try and do them. Not because I'm running out of ideas. Like I said, I mean, look, over there, I've got plenty to work with and I've got plenty more things to come. And I've already talked about that, but we'll talk more about that on Wednesday when we do the next weekly update video. And uh, thank you once again, Colour and Books, for leaving this um, a video. Um, uh, suggestion sorry uh, and I'll definitely do some more as I watch more there might be a movie review on Solo coming um, but be warned there will be spoilers for those who haven't seen it I think you can't really do a movie review without giving away spoilers properly in my opinion and of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and of, guys, and of course guys feel free to follow me on Twitter feel free to check me out on Twitch follow me on Instagram and of course, if you want to donate to the channel and support the channel, we have Patreon and Streamlabs donation page in the links below. And of course, guys, have a nice day. And I'll see you hopefully tonight in Overwatch on Twitch. But of course, the video will be uploaded to YouTube straight afterwards. Take care and bye-bye. See you later, Mike.